Major champion, watermelon brain, shirtless streamer, Tarek has really done it all when it comes to uh, Counter-Strike. And in recent months, his squad in Evil Geniuses has looked in great form. Over here on Inferno's at CT side, Tarek is the B rotator for EG. And although in this day and age, the two B players are very interchangeable, Tarek tends to be the B player on the move between the sites. Today, we're going to see what aspects make Tarek one of the world's best on CT Inferno, and particularly what we can learn from his mid-round decision-making and how information and communication feeds into his rotations. For any B player on Inferno, banana control is ever important, and here Evil Geniuses will be going for some control. As we can see, Tarek throws this smoke for deep banana, then Molly's tree, and nades into the cubby. Now pausing quickly, this smoke in front of Tarek here is commonly called the Fnatic smoke, and the terrorists will throw this to try and deter the TTs from taking banana. However, at the top level, I don't think many teams will respect the smoke, and Tarek will throw this flash off the wall, behind which Tarek and Ethan swing out and pick up a nice pair of frags. So at this point, evil geniuses, they have banana control. And after sticking around for a few seconds and debating whether to rotate, Tarek here is going to make his way over towards A. So EG still has brackets right now and a big man advantage, meaning there is no need for Tarek to hard commit onto A and subsequently he hangs around here on Speedway. Meanwhile, MIBR are retaking banana control and they did so with two flashes at the same time, so EG certainly knew they had numbers towards banana. With this info, Tarek comes back to B Ethan drops his smoke and boosts Tarek up here onto the flower pots. With this nice crossfire between the pairing as Ethan is playing here on first oranges. Now currently, MIBR has all three of their remaining players in banana and are setting up for their B hit here. And let's see how Tarek plays out this situation. As the smoke fades, MIBR will commit onto B and Tarek gets this nice frag onto Fallen but does get quite badly whited in the process. Falling off the boost, he has another great frag onto Fur before being traded out. Because of that front sight smoke, Ethan wasn't able to help out Tarek so much, and playing behind new box, Ethan is going to swing off the flash from Cirque and pick up this final kill onto Taco. As on this round, we saw a great display of early banana control into good rotations from Tarek and a nice late round setup from the duo of Tarek and Ethan to close it out. Akin to the previous round, we're going to see EG contesting banana, into some nice rotation. So Tarek here is going to deep nade off the wall, molly into tree and flash before boosting Ethan onto the half wall. Now after spamming the smoke, just in case somebody was in there, EG a fairly certain banana is clear and Tarek will leave Ethan jump spotting. Now at this point, Furio forced out some brackets control and Stanislaw punishes Art for pushing through the long smoke, but will get traded out by Vinny. Tarek here picks a nice timing to shift out and surprises Furia, putting EG back into a man advantage and after smoking in front of himself, the call from Furia will be to finish onto B. Now watching Ethan for a second, we can see he's playing a full retake here onto B, partly because of all that pressure onto A's arch side and secondly, Ethan does not want to give Furia an opportunity to isolate him and take a duel which may give them a chance back into the round. As Cirque walks back into long to confirm nobody is towards brackets, the terrorists begin executing onto B and Tarek needs to quickly get back over. As Tarek comes onto the site, Ethan is going to flash and boost up Tarek into finding one kill onto Keserato and just about getting away with his life. On his low health, Tarek is going to stick around CT and make some presence whilst his teammates come in from Ruins and Banana. The trades go two for one in favour of Furia and Tarek is going to stick the bomb whilst Breezy holds the swing as Tarek proves the age-old saying that pros don't fake. As you might have worked out by now, EG love putting down early nades onto Banana and fighting for that control, and this round is going to be no different. But Tarek here is going to smoke deep Banana, and a few seconds later, or is this deep Molly? So pausing quickly and looking at the map, EG's opponents in Team Liquid have just done two things. Firstly, they have smoked onto Ethan's close molly here in Banana, and by this point Ethan and Tarek are saying to each other, 
let's give banana let's not risk getting stuck out in the open and let's fall back to the site meanwhile over on a liquid have just thrown some early nays towards brackets and off this pressure tag is going to move towards speedway for a few seconds however liquid's presence onto a comes to nothing and with liquid clearing out top banana tag is going to commit back and onto the b site and move through ruins and back towards coffins now after throwing a standard coffins flash as you can see here ethan is going to boost Tarek up here and on to new box whilst ethan is going to move to the pillar so there's a couple things to note about the setup here from eg now this spot from Tarek is extremely strong partly because you won't get mollied out but the main reason is flashes when your opponent's entry flashes come in it's extremely unlikely these flashes will catch Tarek because of the archway above his head and i feel like there really should be a word in the cs dictionary for spots like this now ethan is playing this side of the pillar and he will flash into pool when Tarek takes contact or he hears the t's executing in so unpausing as the terrorists commit onto the site Tarek will get the first frag and then fall off and is forced to swing wide because of the molly and picks up two more great kills whilst Ethan chimes in with the fourth between them. Now I love this setup here from EG and if you want to commit to playing on the site instead of playing retake, learn from Tarek and Ethan. Have a deliberate setup with your site partner where both of you know who is anti-flash, who is taking contact rather than playing on separate islands in spots everyone has seen a million times here on B site Inferno. So you might be thinking, what would be an innovative approach on Banana and how could I retake some control during the mid round? And aboard of Ethan, that's exactly what we're going to see. So after mollying deep, Ethan immediately boosts on the head of Tarek and finds a great opening kill onto Art. Now, although we saw a similar boost in the previous round, I can assure you this one was not a spur of the moment sort of thing and they'd already planned this out going into the round as they came out of CT spawn. Now after sitting back with the man advantage for a few seconds, Tarek is going to throw this molly and a flash for Ethan, who swings out and finds another great kill. The tease did smoke onto Tarek's molly, but it made little difference. And whilst Tarek comes over to give a hand, Ethan is going to get a third kill for the round as Yuri tries to boost behind the half wall. At this point in a five versus two, this round is over. And I just wanted to show you quickly where those nades from Tarek land. So the molly lands just next to the half wall here and the flash will basically catch everything in front of the molly and very importantly, anyone boosted behind the half wall or up on top of logs. Jumping into this round a few seconds in, EG tried to fight a little towards banana early on but gave it up in the end. And next up, Tarek is going to give Ethan a boost on to the flower pots. Now something important to note is that Ethan is the boosted player and Tarek still has a smoke and if he was boosted he'd have a very tough time using it. Now what we have here is a CT boost bait setup from EG. Tarek will take first contact onto any terrorist players and will try to get off his smoke if they execute in and if they were to smoke CT Tarek would spam to take all the attention away from Ethan. Now as the terrorists execute in here, Tarek tries to get off his smoke and the pairing will fall back in towards ruins. So what is going on here? Why have they fallen out of their setup? And what you need to do is look at the smokes here thrown by Furia for front sight and deep CT. Now with these smokes, Furia wants to play aggressively towards CT and wrap into ruins. And in this situation, Ethan and Tarek made the perfect call to fall and avoid taking unfavorable fights versus those T players. Having fallen back, Ethan gets one from beyond the grave with his molly, whilst Tarek decides to move back towards coffins and playing wide, he gets a nice kill onto Art before falling back for a few seconds and shifting back out wide into getting a second kill onto Vinny. Now on the plant sound, Tag will try to swing out and drop the planter, but unfortunately will not connect. Having rotated over, Freezy will get a spam kill through the CT smoke and slowly pinching the site from all three directions. The EG squad close in on the remaining player and silence Yuri to close out the round. Although most people will focus on the frags, it was most certainly the very fast decision to fall out of their CT boost bait setup 
into ruins from Tarek and Ethan, which went further towards winning this round than any other decision. As professional level Counter-Strike becomes more and more complicated as the years go by, the B players on Inferno have been forced to raise their game, learning countless banana takes, mid-round re-aggressions, late-round setups, whilst ironing out their rotational play between the sites. During today's look at Tarek, we've only scratched the surface of playing as the B rotator on Inferno, but hopefully you've learnt a little bit from one of the world's best B players on Inferno right now. Well, that is everything for this one. I've not yet chosen what topic to cover in the next video, so why don't you let me know in the comments what you guys would like to see next. Social medias are linked below. Make sure to hit all the normal buttons on the video if you enjoyed this one. Thanks to everyone for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.